Hi, I'm Jack Berry, and I'm here on a very uh, auspicious occasion at Meadowbrook Country Club, opening up after a four-year absence or four-year uh, planning session with the general manager here, Joe Marini, who has done an awesome job. Joe, tell us how it all started. Well, we we started talking about our golf course. Um, probably about four years ago on our greens committee and we kind of we started talking about we had the poana grass and you know during the winters we would lose some greens and the grass would die we'd come out of the winter and we'd have to have some problems we'd cover in our greens a lot so we, we we talked as a team and said hey let's redo our greens and then after we talked about well if we're gonna do our greens maybe we'll do our bunkers you know and then we said well if we're gonna do our bunkers let's do our fairways and the approaches and then led to the tees and all of a sudden we're like Maybe we need to hire an expert, and so we actually reached out to Dr. Klein, Brad Klein, and he kind of came in and, and assessed the golf course, walked it with us, and uh, then from there we went on to um, hire, go out and try to find some architects that would fit our our personality here, and we ended up with Andy Staples, which was a great great find for us and a great fit because he said we would build a relationship with each other, and he's been true to form since then. So we we forged ahead the last three years and tonight and tomorrow we open up this golf course and we're very excited. Well it's been uh, a number of years ago that we were out here talking to you and about the great history that uh, Meadowbrook has had, Motor City Opens, PGA Championship and all that sort of thing. How did you sell the members on all of these things that you were doing and finally to close down for a whole year? Correct. It, it, was, it was a pretty uh, interesting sell, but it wasn't really a sell. We were very transparent. Our board of directors, all our committees, all our chair people on our committees, we worked together. We had 14 town hall meetings leading up to the vote for the golf course closure. So people got this voice their opinion on what they liked about the golf course, what they didn't like about the golf course, what they would like to see in a new golf course. So during that whole process, we built trust. And I think that goes to show you what Meadowbrook's all about. We, you know, our, our mission statement talks about camaraderie and family and community and I think we tied all that into that woven in it that into that into that whole mission statement and today we sit here and we have a brand new golf course with a full membership and I couldn't be happier. Well we, when we talked that some years ago you were talking about family membership and since I just live down the road here and drive by here all the time always saw a lot of cars in the parking lot and they weren't all on the golf course they were getting lessons or swimming pool or whatever so that has worked well for you. It has it's been something that I've been working on for about 19 years here I really started to focus on the families probably about 15 years ago and I, 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 I trying to convince members who join the club I always tell prospective members I'm not going to try to sell you Meadowbrook I'm going to tell you what we do who we are and I'm going to under 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 promise and overachieve because when you join our family because that's what we are as a family you're going to really see we really do walk the walk and we kind of produce what we say so it's worked for us um, during this whole shutdown in the last 19 months without a golf course we literally have a full membership with a waiting list so to, that is to me is we are doing what we're, we say we are doing. How many members do you have? Well, our total membership is about 710, but our golf membership is max is 325, and we have about 10 person waiting list right now to get in. Well, and you have a real busy area here. Northville is it just popped like popcorn around here. It's one of the hottest places to, to raise a family in Michigan right now, so it's great. So we love it. So we're fortunate, and we uh, we know it. So great job, Joe. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>